Welcome all of you home fries back to Singer Dad Reacts. My name is Josh and I am here to do a reaction to Home Free. Uh, the reason I picked this one, Avicii Wake Me Up, is I'm really a fan of this song. Uh, I like the song, I like the lyrics, um, the melody itself, so I'm, I'm interested and curious to see Home Free's take on it. They always do an amazing job uh, with with their covers and uh, with with all the performances that they give. I'm, I'm a huge fan of theirs. Uh, I watched them actually on the Sing Off. So Home Free and Pentatonix, uh, I watched uh, on the on the Sing Off itself, and that's how I discovered them. So an original fan, but. It's actually a good situation because there are several I haven't seen, and so I can go and do reactions to those. Some of their big ones I've seen, The a Man of Constant Sorrow, um, The Boys to Men that they did, The End of the Road, I think. Um, the big one, obviously, The the Ring of Fire um, with Avi. I've seen that many times. Uh Yeah, so there's a couple more. Elvira, I've seen Elvira. So there are some of those, but one thing also that someone mentioned in a comment that I hadn't really thought about was I could do a reaction. So maybe it's not a first time reaction, but I could watch some of those and do a reaction and kind of talk about what they're doing and and give some insight to that and react to it that way, do a review analysis type thing. If that's something that you're interested in me doing, then please put that in the comments. Um, and if you haven't already, if you could please subscribe, click on the notifications. That way uh, you're notified of any of the new home free uh, reactions that I do or any of the others you might be interested in. Um, I just did another Pentatonix reaction, so that should be going out here shortly. Uh, so with that, let's let's dive right in. Make sure I'm recording here. Heart. I can't tell where the journey will end, but I know where to start. Tell me I'm too young to understand. Say I'm caught up in a dream. Life will pass me by if I don't open up my eyes. Well, that's fine by me. Kind of a weird spot, sorry. The thing that you need to realize with <clears throat> singing a cappella in a group setting like this with multiple voices and multiple parts, this the hum -na 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 -na, that, that that they're doing there, those are dead on. I mean, it almost sounds like one voice singing multiple parts at the same time, right? That's what you want it to sound like. Um, but those are the things really that are hard to accomplish as an acapella group is because and i mentioned this as part of my pentatonics reaction but the the rhythmic stuff um is super important especially when there are harmonies involved because it sets the the rhythm for the song right so it's like this hum -na -na -na, you know whatever they're saying uh provides kind of that percussive element a little bit in addition to the beatboxer of course so for them to get that right, they really had to go through and work those those phrases, um, those parts together so that they can get the 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 rhythms exactly right um, so that it doesn't detract from what the others are doing in the the lead and so forth. So that that's impressive when you can they can be that together and the pitch also has to be right on. Because if you're doing those harmonies and you're kind of working different phrasings and parts like that, and someone is off, someone is flat or, you know, sharp even on the notes, then those harmonies won't sound right. And it'll sound kind of sloppy and not really polished, like a home free or a pentatonics type sound. So that's hard to do. So 
they're they're incredible let me rewind just a little bit because I kind of did a pause in a been a dream life will pass me by if I don't open up my eyes well that's fine by me so wake me up when it's there he goes that's awesome That's a hard part right there that they're doing rhythmically because it's kind of like there's a little bit of the staccato and the sometimes when the rhythm the the main beat of the rhythm is kind of off um, and sometimes there's syncopation different things like that with what the singers are doing it makes it harder to really stay in the groove as far as the rhythm is concerned so they're they're excellent with that as far as staying on track with that their own little spin <laughs> that's like vintage home free right there right a little close up on the on the belt buckle uh, yeah that's that's a good place to pause actually because it's like that whole little dum dum da -da -da, you know the thing that he just did that's very like home free esque right and that's what I love about these groups pentatonics home free voice play all these different uh, voctive of course too they all put their own spin on the covers that they do they all have their own style and, and with home free you're going to catch a little bit of the country element right so that's kind of what they've thrown in to this arrangement it's kind of that even rhythmically right it's kind of following a little bit of a a country swing to it so let me rewind a little bit here that's the part there. That was cool. I need to go back and hear that again. That was cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is the stuff they do, right? They add their own little... I tried carrying the weight of the world But I only had two hands Hope I get the chance cool. to travel the world But I don't have any plans I could stay forever this year. Oh, that's cool. Not afraid to close my eyes. Life's a game made for everyone. And love is a prize. So wake me up when it's nice. all over. When I'm wiser and I'm older. I love his stuff. So it's nice when Rob can take over. For Austin, these two you know, really work well off of each other. And, you know, one may take the lead and then, you know, kind of they switch back and forth that way. And Rob's voice is really just silky smooth and it's got a great tone to it. And he can he can go pretty high, too, on some of the other songs I've seen him sing. He, and he's really good at harmonies. He's All of these guys actually blend very well with each other. And that's part of what sets them apart, right? They have to be able to blend well. So let's go back and see when he he jumps in here for Austin. He takes over about right here, I think. And love is a prize. So wake me up when it's 
it's all over When I'm wiser and I'm older All this time I was finding myself And I didn't know nice. I was lost <laughs> So wake me up when it's all over That's cool Tim. I was finding myself that was love. I didn't go back here. That was that was low. I love Tim's voice too. He's he's one of the lowest bases out there. He and Jeff Castellucci from uh, Voice Play. Those two can just battle it out. Let's see. <laughs> This part's cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When I'm wiser, still going. Oh. I was finding myself wow. and I didn't know I was lost. Wait. So wake me up when it's all over. Oh, awesome. When I'm wiser and I'm older. All this time I was finding myself and I okay, we're fighting in sync with each other. So those little parts right there, um, and I've I've had to deal with those a little bit, you know, singing uh, bass or whatever in a, in a setting like this, where everyone else kind of stops singing and the bass is left alone to just kind of make sure to carry the rhythm on, to, to carry the song forward, right? You, you noticed it right there, I'll rewind a second, but Tim kind of has to really carry the load and make sure that he stays on track with the rhythm and keeps the momentum flowing forward with his little part, his interlude there. So you'll notice it when I rewind here. Let's see. That should be I was finding myself and I didn't know I was right. lost. Right there. So he, they're keying off of him, of something he does, right? So he has to be right, in, right on. That's cool. Didn't know I was lost. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Rob. What are, they, what are they doing? <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, it's all over. What? Wake me up when it's over. What's up, y'all? <laughs> We're home free. Thanks for hanging out with us in the studio and previewing our brand new album. We're super excited about it. Be sure to like us on Facebook for updates and click subscribe right here on the screen. Absolutely. Also, check out homefreevocalband.com. You can check out our concert schedule and also if we have any news coming out. Thanks for watching, guys. Wow. So they did not disappoint. Um, I love Home Free. They're awesome, and they're just—they're just good guys, right? I mean, you saw kind of their personalities come out in in uh, the sing-off, right? That's what's cool about those types of competitions, is you see them in this kind of melting pot situation where they're they they have to really come together as a group, and it's good actually for a group to be in that situation because it really forces you to work together closely and figure out who you are and um, really dial things in and figure out your roles, all of those things, right? Um, and improve your, your skill, of course, right? Because you have to compete at a high level. Um, so yeah, they're, they're great. I love their stuff. And Tim, one of the things Tim's has really worked hard with, and uh, he and Jeff both, and Alvi's worked on on this to some degree as well, is called the growl. And you heard some of the low notes there from Tim, not some of the, the lowest I've heard him sing, but he just makes it sound so easy. But what he's able to do, and, and Jeff has a neat video, someone I think wanted me to react to this actually, but he talks about what he and Tim do, and that is they, they basically go in there and they 
they take this growl that you normally have where you're just like, like that, like you would growl like a bear or something like that. And then you kind of, you start to match that with a tone. Um, and what you can do is you can end up taking your range down a full octave or so from where your normal low notes are. So I haven't really worked on it a ton because I'm not super interested in, in getting my voice to go super low. Um, if I was to work on any part of my voice, it would probably be the upper side of my range actually. Um, cause there's not a lot of call for like, for me to sing super low because I sing lead for our quartet. Um, I guess there are times where when our bass has a solo or something like that, I can step down and sing, but I can cover most of the stuff that we sing, um, down to that range if I need to. But, but yeah, he, he's mastered the growl, so he can go down super low, I think down to like A flat zero, which is, we're talking like the bottom of the piano type area. Uh, and it's pretty strong. Like if you've heard, most of you I'm sure have already heard it, but A Ring of Fire, for instance, the one on the sing-off, he sings, um, he, that low note at the very end is actually lower. I think it's an F sharp, as uh, F sharp, F sharp one, I think. But um, anyway, the one in the the video with Avi, that one's a, a G, I think. So it's half a step higher or whatever. Uh, but yeah, they're they're awesome. Um, you know, and Adam is really good too, the beatboxer. Uh, and just like with the other groups, he can sing fairly well as also. And the Man of Constant Sorrow is one that was really cool with like the simulated uh, harmonica sound. That was really cool. So anyway, I love Home Free. Thank you all for watching. Um, if you have any suggestions for any Home Free songs you want me to react to, the best thing to do is to put like maybe your top 10 Home Free songs down there. And then chances are at least maybe one or two of those I haven't seen yet. And I can react to them, right? That's the best way to go. But also, if you haven't subscribed, if you could click on that and click the notifications, um, I would appreciate it. Thank you and take care.